A center focused on the Civil War and Reconstruction could change how students in North Carolina learn about that moment in history. This week, we received another update on the future of the facility being built in Fayetteville. CBS 17's Justin Moore joins us live with what organizers are saying about the plans. Justin. Yeah, next uh, Thursday, they will break ground here for another phase of the project. And organizers uh, tell us that not only will this impact students, but it also would draw people to the area. $80 million Civil War and Reconstruction History Center is coming to Fayetteville. Because a history center will allow us not only to be interactive, as Max says, but tell a story. Organizers say the center will tell thousands of engaging stories about a very dark period in the U.S., all gathered by national scholars and historians. No other history center we found in a country that's going to focus on this period of Reconstruction like we are. Nobody's afraid to tell that story. Uh, we're not. There were also two other groundbreakings for different phases of this project. Some community members have raised concerns about the facility, calling it a disguise for a Confederate museum. However, those with the center say that's not the case. It's very disconcerting when we hear, uh, as we have heard, that we're going to develop, for example, a Confederate museum, which we have no intention whatsoever of doing. An economic impact study shows the state operated center could generate $18 million a year. We owe it to the next generation to be those people that we're not going to solve problems, but we're going to educate people on why his background is different than her background and my background and his background. Now, the state will foot most of the, the cost for this center. Now, the organizers are relying on the city, county, and private donors for the rest of the money. Live in Fayetteville, Justin Moore, CBS 17 News.